Welcome to Horizon Solutions. Nowadays, we are very familiar with the word mucormycosis or black fungus infection. Let us see some information about black fungus or mucormycosis. So, what is mucormycosis or black fungus? Mucormycosis is previously called zygomycosis. It is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of molds called mucormycetes. These fungi live throughout the environment, particularly in soil and in decaying organic matter such as leaves, compost piles or rotten wood. So where does it come from? People get mucormycosis by coming in contact with fungal spores in the environment. For example, the lung or sinus form of the infection can occur after someone breathes in spores. These form of mucormycosis usually occur in people who have health problems or take medicines that lower the body ability to fight germs and sickness. Mucormycosis can also develop on the skin after the fungus enters the skin through a cut, scrap, burn or other type of skin trauma. Let us see the types of mucormycosis. Renocerebral mucormycosis. It is an infection in the sinus that spread to brain. This form of mucormycosis is most common in people with uncontrolled diabetes and in people who have undergone kidney transplantation. Pulmonary or lung mucormycosis. It is the most common type of mucormycosis in people with cancer and in people who have had an organ transplantation or stem cell transplantation. Gastrointestinal mucormycosis is more common among young children than adults, especially premature and low birth weight infants of age less than one month and who have had antibiotics, surgery or medications that lowers the body immune system. Cutaneous or skin mucormycosis. This occurs after the fungi enters the body through a break in the skin, for example after a surgery, burn or other types of skin trauma. This is most common form of mucormycosis among people who have weakened immune systems. Disseminated mucormycosis. This occurs when the infection spread through the bloodstream to affect another part of the body. The infection most commonly affects the brain but also can affect other organs such as spleen, heart and skin. So these are the examples of fungi that most commonly cause mucormycosis. The examples are Rhizophus species, mucor species, Rhizomucor species, Ophysomyces species, etc. Symptoms of mucormycosis. So what are the symptoms of mucormycosis? The symptoms of mucormycosis depend on where the body, the fungus is growing. Contact your healthcare provider or physician if you have symptoms that you think are related to mucormycosis. Now let us see a few symptoms that are common in different types of mucormycosis. The symptoms of rhinocerebral mucormycosis include one-sided facial swelling, headache, nasal or sinus condition, black lesions on nasal bridge or upper inside of mouth that quickly become more severe and fever. The symptoms of pulmonary or lung mucormycosis include fever, cough, chest pain and shortness of breath. Cutaneous or skin mucormycosis can look like blisters or ulcers and the infected area may turn black other symptoms include pain, warmth, excessive redness or swelling around the wound. The symptoms of gastrointestinal mucormycosis include abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, gastrointestinal bleeding. Disseminated mucormycosis typically occur in the people who are already sick from other medical conditions so it can be difficult to know which symptoms are related to mucormycosis. Patients with disseminated infection in the brain can develop changes in the mental status or may lead to coma. Diagnosis and testing for mucormycosis. How mucormycosis is diagnosed? Healthcare providers consider your medical history, symptoms, physical examinations and laboratory tests when diagnosing mucormycosis. Healthcare providers who suspect that you have mucormycosis in your lungs or sinuses might collect a sample of fluid from your respiratory system to send to a laboratory. 
your healthcare provider may perform a tissue biopsy in which small sample of affected tissue is analyzed in a laboratory for evidence of mucormycosis under a microscope or in a fungal culture. You may also need imaging tests such as CT scan of your lungs, sinuses or other parts of your body depending on the location of the suspected infection. What is the treatment of mucormycosis? How mucormycosis is treated? Mucormycosis is a serious infection that needs to be treated with prescriptional antifungal medicines as directed by the physician. Now let us see frequently asked questions about mucormycosis or black fungus. Who gets mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is rare but it is common among the people who have health problems or take medicines that lower body's immune system. Certain groups of people are more likely to get mucormycosis include people with diabetes, especially with diabetic ketoacidosis, cancer patients, the persons undergone organ transplantation, the persons who undergone stem cell transplantation, the persons with neutropenia, that means the lower number of white blood cells, the persons who use long-term corticosteroids, injection drug use, too much iron in the body, that is iron overload or hemochromatosis, skin injury due to surgery, burns or wounds, prematurity and low birth weight for neonatal gastrointestinal mucormycosis and sometimes the post-COVID patients are also reported with black fungus infection nowadays. How does someone get mucormycosis? People get mucormycosis through contact with fungal spores in the environment. For example, the lung or sinus form of the infection can occur after someone inhales the spores from the air. A skin infection can occur after the fungus enters the skin through a scrape, burn or other type of skin injury. Is mucormycosis contagious? Does it spread from person to person? No. Mucormycosis is not contagious. Mucormycosis cannot spread between people or between people and animals. How can one lower the risk of mucormycosis? It is difficult to avoid breathing in fungal spores because the fungi that cause mucormycosis are common in the environment. There is no vaccine to, help to prevent mucormycosis. For people who have weakened immune systems, there may be some ways to lower the chances of developing mucormycosis. So antifungal medication may also help to prevent mucormycosis. If you are at high risk for developing mucormycosis, for example, if you have had an organ transplant or a stem cell transplant or if you are a COVID patient, your healthcare provider may prescribe medication to prevent mucormycosis and other mold infections. Doctors and scientists are still learning about which transplant patients and other types of patients are at high risk and how to best prevent fungal infections. So this is some information about mucormycosis or black fungus infection. This information got from several sources in the web. So if you have any symptoms or any doubts, please contact your physician or healthcare provider. If you feel this information is useful, please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more health related information. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.